Hey, you. Hey. You seem kind of frazzled. What's up? Well, I got some post or mail, as you call it, this mm -hmm. morning. And it kind of rattled me because it was something that I thought I was taking care of. But yet it wasn't a really, very nice letter. So we had and we've got a new car, uh, well, probably back in March. And we've been waiting so long for the title documents to arrive. Mm -hmm. And Josh had to go to the garage and get him to extend the date on the paper plate that goes on the back of the car. So I thought I had it all under control. Mm -hmm. And then now today, we picked up the title two days ago, but now today I get a letter from the DMV saying that we're fined 10% of the total tax on the car plus more each day that we don't pay it each because it day? went past the date like because it went past the deadline of 30 days but we didn't have the title and like literally as soon as I read that letter my heart just goes boom 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 like this and I just have to get on with it and deal with it then and there because mm -hmm. like I know that it's just weighing on the back of my mind and when I read the threat of like more money and more fines and all the other terrible stuff that can happen to you Mm -hmm. I just lose all perspective of what's going on and that it's just something that I need to sort out now so I've just been literally trying to get all of this sorted and inevitably it takes a huge time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and describe to me exactly like you said your heart is pounding but what other physical symptoms happen when when you open that letter I think the first thing is I am very, very aware of my heartbeat. Mm. Like I almost hear it in my head. Mm -hmm. And then I think my breathing becomes like shallow. Like mm -hmm. I'm not fully taking all my lung capacity up with what I'm breathing. Mm -hmm. And I just feel tense. Like, look, this is what my hands are doing right now. Wow. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> like I kind of need to just let go and just go, Ooh, but it's really hard. Mm -hmm. And I've sorted this task now, but yet I still feel all wound up from having to try and sort that. Mm -hmm. If you can think back in the past, mm -hmm. other times when you feel this way and you feel tense and stressed, what is, what is your favorite way that someone can show you support that has happened in the past that you said oh that feels good um if I'm being flippant I want someone to just come and take that letter away from me <laughs> and say <laughs> don't worry Karen I'll deal with it mm -hmm. uh, on this occasion that's not possible mm -hmm. um so I think probably the the best thing would be somebody to almost get me to appreciate what is what well, number one what has actually happened mm -hmm. and number two are you actually worrying about something genuine mm -hmm. or are you just worrying because of the immediate visceral reaction that you have to reading the letter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think like I'm speaking to you now like I've just finished doing that mm -hmm. But I've looked after it. I managed to work out that there wasn't a fine. Like that letter must have been computer generated, not realizing other things that had gone on in the system. So actually, it was a big stress over nothing. Mm. Still took me a lot of time. But in reality, it, there was just an administrative thing where the computer just took over. Mm -hmm. and, and then I just react in that way. Mm -hmm. And so is when you talk that through and you realize that it was, it really wasn't as urgent mm -hmm. as it felt when you opened yeah. that letter, that you just needed to do a few things and take care of a few things. If that happens in the future and you have that feeling, what, what can you do to remember right now? What, what can you, is there something you can say or do to help you remember that let's take a step back? Yeah. I think maybe my gut reaction 
in that moment, this time was, it wasn't necessary. Mm-hmm. Like, and almost say, what do you, like almost part of my brain went to that place of saying, maybe they just sent this out and that it was just in the pipeline. Mm-hmm. But then I got so distracted by the fact fines like written on at the bottom of it. And if you're caught driving, you might be arrested. Like those things make me scared. Mm -hmm. So I lost, I lost like control over my thought process in that moment. But I think if I get another letter like that, I'm going to say, okay, for one moment, slow down Mm. and just think this through in stages. And I think this is what I love about coaching because your own brain starts to come up with the answers, but Mm -hmm. it's almost saying to me, like what you are going to do now that you are panicking about that needs to be done in this very second, like, cause that's all I wanted to do was just get this done. Mm -hmm. Does it make a difference if you do it right now or you do it this evening? Mm -hmm. Like, no, Mm -hmm. not really. Mm -hmm. would you prefer to get it done sooner yes but actually is it going is something actually going to hurt you right now and no nothing is Mm -hmm. um just I keep looking over at the paperwork that's what I'm about it's just Uh, on the side of my desk visceral feeling again I need to get rid of it um so yeah I think just slow down almost at that point in time I needed if to your earlier question I needed somebody there with me saying just take a deep breath Mm -hmm. like just take a deep breath Mm -hmm. and then think about how you're going to react to that rather than "Ah, panic Mm -hmm. because as soon as I received that like literally I've screenshot it and I've sent it to Josh who's in a meeting who probably can't really deal with what I'm sending him and his phone is pinging away probably with his paranoid wife who thinks she's going to get arrested (laughs) (laughs) that isn't helpful to him and it's not helpful to me because haven't even thought through the process Mm -hmm. yet when I'm already texting him about what do I do what do I do right in the next five minutes I've realized that I can go online Mm -hmm. I've already my first gut reaction was ring the woman at the DMV he was incredibly unhelpful Mm -hmm. um she wound me up probably more but actually what I should have just done is just followed my like let's say slow down what is your next step okay go on the website and I would have seen that it said, you can do this online. Mm-hmm. So, so let's back up a little bit. What do you know about your thought process when you are in high anxiety, fight or flight mode? It just jumps to the worst case scenario straight away. Mm-hmm. Like I paint that picture. Mm-hmm. And so you said, what would have been more most helpful is for someone to tell you to take a deep breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what is one way that you can assure that you're taking a deep breath? Uh, maybe put the letter down, walk away from it, mm-hmm. go outside and then take that deep breath. Okay. Like get, remove, remove myself from that mm-hmm. just for a minute, mm-hmm. just to let the thoughts calmly settle rather than jump around mm-hmm. in my head. You know, the crazy thing is, is like, like when you say, and you need that somebody to say, just take a deep breath. Mm-hmm. Now, probably like at that moment in time, and this is where it's silly, isn't it? But I'm like, oh, I could ring Laura and tell her that I've got this like crazy situation but then like I, the thought will go through my mind oh my gosh I don't want people to think that I'm like this stressy over something so silly <laughs> which I know is untrue mm-hmm. I know that is not true but that goes through my mind like mm-hmm. part of like being vulnerable like you do worry that people are people going to think of me that this is something that completely stressed me out so that's a big piece of self-compassion Mm-hmm. One of the big pieces of self-compassion is co- realizing common humanity, that it's we've all gotten those letters. Mm-hmm. We've all had your exact reaction. So knowing in that moment that 
to be compassionate to yourself. And if you need to ring a friend, that's okay. Yeah. Because probably more than likely your friend, whether that be me or somebody else would say, I've had that exact same thing happen. Yeah. Maybe not with DMV, but some yeah. other, yeah. you know, and once I just calmed down and took care of it, I felt better. Yeah. You're very true. Mm -hmm. So is there anything physically that you can do to assure when you step away from the letter, go outside, is there anything physically you can do to make sure that you know that you're taking deep breaths? I don't know. What ideas have you got? <laughs> share, share. So I was just thinking of just putting your hands mm -hmm. and actually feeling your breath reaching all the way up yeah. your collarbone and knowing that you're taking that deep breath. Yeah. And it feels like you're giving yourself a hug. It does, doesn't it? Bonus. Bonus. Yeah. That's a really nice. I know. I just want to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> just walk around like this all day. Yeah. That is lovely though. Yeah. And maybe some of this. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Just it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Mm -hmm. And you could even, if you think about it, maybe you can't get to that letter right away. Mm -hmm. You could still take a moment and do this and say, I'll get to it later. Yeah, because there will be times like in the future and like where you can't just jump on something and respond. Right. Like if I was actually with a client at that time or if I was whatever, and I just opened it because I ran out to get the mail before that appointment, I couldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. So there needed to be a way for me to put it to one side that it doesn't distract me from what I'm doing. So that would be a very useful technique. So. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we talked it out <laughs> we talked it out <laughs> so yay so the dmv can now take their letter and yeah and know that you have taken care of it in a calm collected yeah. fashion yeah they didn't rattle me for too long that's right <laughs> awesome all right yeah. well I, I hope the rest of the day goes better yeah i'm sure it will i'm smiling right. talk <laughs> to you later soon